Hey, what's up everybody? I'm gonna do a little bit of a video here. Just, you know, do a quick one. Let you guys in on some stuff. And then uh, we'll take a look at how my uh, saltwater tank's going. It's been, I think, about two or three weeks. Probably around three weeks. Maybe even four now. Um, but, you know, I'd like to start out talking about a few things. One, you know, I was talking to some people, leaving comments on a couple of my videos about, you know, type of equipment I use and all that kind of stuff. And as I told them, I think the biggest thing to know is just that it all comes with experience. Uh, I've, been, I've had tanks since I was maybe seven years old. Um, it started with, you know, just a couple bowls, a couple 10 gallon tanks, which it's really weird. I mean, I've I'm 25 now, and I still, 10 gallon tanks is, it's just fun to me. They're a good, you know, good size, good dimensions, uh, and they're still challenging. That's the biggest thing. It keeps me busy, really is what it is. Um, but like I said, it comes with experience. Uh, just learning from your mistakes, really. Another thing is learning that nature is a you know powerful force it works obviously for the world um, and understand that nature will always win um, you know you can buy thousands and thousands of dollars of equipment I'm not saying don't go out and do that but I think it takes away from the experience of uh, taking care of your own tank um, I, I like to think it's for the rich and lazy um, like I said not saying don't go out and buy stuff like that because it really does make things a hell of a lot easier um, but I think that one of the best catchphrases piece of advice I've ever heard is uh, Dave at ADU aquascaping always says uh, keep your sleeves wet and that's a great piece of advice especially for fresh water I feel like especially if you're planting um, I was in my tank every single day I was, you know, trimming back when I needed to trim, uh, just keeping up on everything. Always, every single day I was washing my tank. I, did, I had, for freshwater, I had a pretty high-tech setup. I had CO2 injected, um, I had fertilizers, uh, both in the substrate and uh, liquid ferts, dry ferts. Uh, I had high lighting with really nice LEDs. Um, a really nice brand new canister filter with really nice biological media in it. Uh, but as far as the saltwater tank that I've been doing, it's really low tech and it's almost all the same stuff that I had in the freshwater. But the reason I did that was because I got way too used to the freshwater. It became way too easy um, because I learned from my mistakes, the experience throughout my years has brought, had brought me to that point where I was able to just kind of set it up and besides trimming and dosing, I really didn't have to do anything to the tank. Uh, I figured out the lighting schedule that was good enough to keep the algae at control um, and be enough lighting for the plants. Um, yeah, it, it comes with experience. Um, and really, unless you're uh, got, you know, one maybe tetra or some sort of fish like that in your tank, don't expect it to be easy. It's not an easy hobby. Um, and if, you, if the only time it's going to be easy is when you spend thousands and thousands, I'm talking ten thousands of dollars, that's when it becomes easy. That's when you can sit back and watch it. And it'll take care of itself. There's plenty of you know redundancies to fix everything that's going on with the tank. And then usually when you're paying that much money, you're paying someone else to take care of your tank for you. <laughs> But there's no fun in that, and I firmly believe that this hobby is about the passion and the want to do things, and watching nature is really what I feel like it is. Um, so yeah, you know, just thought I'd offer some advice, throw it out there, take it, throw it back, do what you want with it. But uh, I think for now, we'll stop this video and go take a look at the tank. See you there. All right, what's up, guys? We're at the tank. Um, probably see a few new additions, uh, literally just a few, um, right here, see if I can get them without him darting away, 
It's a little uh, black and gold chromis. It's a cool little dude. I like him. He's really skittish. Um, he really just kind of hangs out right in the middle of the rocks here. Right in that little cave opening. He darts down underneath there. Which that's a lot of... I have a lot of really nice little cave formations. A lot of ways to get through the rocks. Um, and he really likes that. He darts in and out of all the rocks all the time. I love this fish. Uh, it honestly reminds me of Dory from Finding Nemo for some reason. Whenever he's looking at me straight on, he just looks like Dory to me, I don't know. Anyway, over here, got this torch coral here. Um, I love it. It's doing really well. Way better than I expected it to. Um, mostly because, you know, like I've said before, this is my first saltwater tank. Don't know anything really about corals. Um, I've just been watching and watching and watching videos on corals. How to take care of this coral, how to take care of that coral. All that good stuff. But I got them planted right up there uh, in the corner of the rock. It's, you know, where it's at, I'd give it probably moderate flow and, uh, you know, moderate lighting, really. I guess it's kind of high lighting, but it doesn't seem to be, you know, hurt at all from it. Um, it was super closed up. It was even more closed up than that at the store. Um, and then when I brought it home, obviously it completely closed up when I put it in there. And uh, it came out within an hour, I'd say, and its extend its tentacles are extended more than they were in the store. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know if that means it wants more light. Um, I don't think so, but we'll see how it goes in the coming day. I just got it two days ago, and, but and you know it hasn't looked bad or anything. It's got like I said, good like moderate flow on it. Um, but yeah, the only thing I've had going on with this tank that I've had to really figure out is the, uh, you can see on the rocks there, especially that back one, which is I'm assuming is where it originated from, a lot of brown algae. Um, it's in the sand a lot, uh, all over the rocks. I've scrubbed it off a little bit, but uh, it's only used a toothbrush and it's kind of, you know, just getting it off a little bit. But kind of thinking it's just because it's a new tank set up um, you know I haven't really figured out the complete balance to it yet I uh, I had the lights on for a lot longer than I realized I you know didn't realize I had the blues on pretty much for 12 hours a day so I shortened that a lot um, there's only about 10 hours of light on this tank maybe even nine I think it might be like nine hours all the lights and then maybe 930 or you know I don't even remember what times, but I don't know, I figured it out. <laughs> but I think there's like a half hour of blues afterwards just so I can check it out with that because this torch coral looks pretty damn cool under the blues. The tips of it glow really nicely. Um, and then soon here I'm probably going to pick up some really nice uh, zoas and then uh, maybe a hammer coral. Um, I really like those and I've found someone that has really nice hammer corals that needs selling for super cheap so I'm pumped about that um, but so far everything's going real well uh, so I guess it's just a little update I'm gonna pick up some uh, chemi pure blue pretty soon um, hopefully that'll help with the algae problem a lot uh, I really don't feed a lot to that fish it's just a few little pellets he loves pellets and flakes um, but I make sure that he's eating them they're really not going all throughout the tank so I don't think that's the problem, but still, I'm gonna throw some chemi pure in there. Hopefully, that'll help it out a lot. I length, I or shortened the light cycle, so that should help a lot too. Um, and then pretty soon, I think I might be building myself a 10-gallon sump to put underneath. With um, I'm gonna throw some macroalgae in there, and uh, that should cut down a lot and help out with the algae. Uh, so yeah, a little update. I'll uh, see you guys next time.